Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Kanti. In today's episode, I'm going to answer the question about how to find a partner. Now, I know that I've answered this question before, not just in the form of a single short video, but also in the form of an elaborate course in terms of how to arrange your own marriage. But in today's episode, I'm going to talk about the various ways in which you can meet interesting people in order to build a relationship with them. Because I understand that the arranged marriage market does not work for everybody. Even within the arranged marriage market, like some apps work pretty well for some people, whereas some other apps don't work uh, for others. So for this reason, instead of having a cookie cutter approach where I say, you know, go on to a matrimonial platform and find yourself a partner this way, I want to talk about ways in which you could potentially meet your partner if these platforms have not worked for you, if these dating apps have not worked for you, right? Depending on what region or what country or what city you're in, there are lots of different interesting things to do in your own respective cities in terms of where you can meet people. It could be events, it could be uh, you know festivals and things like that. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to say today is pretty generic stuff. So depending on where you are, you can start to explore in those areas to try and see if you can meet interesting people. Now, I understand that because of Corona, our options are limited, so we have to work with what's available. Today, there are lots and lots of online events, virtual events that happen, which help you connect with the rest of the world. Now, I would encourage you to start with events within your own city so that you are able to convert these online meetings into offline meetings at some point. So there are lots of events. Uh, based on interests. It could be music, it could be quiz, it could be history. There are lots of events that people are organizing, uh, workshops, talks, etc. So you can attend some of these to, uh, depending on your interests, to find people who are like-minded, who share your interests, to build a network. Now, you may not meet single people at these events, but use these networks to then grow your network further. So you might need somebody very interesting that you connect with, let's say, uh, at an online quiz, right? Uh, This person may not be single, but they could possibly have a single friend that they might introduce you to if you both, you know, end up building a relationship, building a good friendship with each other. So focus on building your networks as opposed to looking at these different um, options outside of matrimonial sites as ways to swipe left or right. Obviously. Um, you know, matrimonial sites or dating apps are very efficient ways to find partners because, you know, everybody who's single is out there and you have to choose from what's available. But not everybody who's single is out there. And if that's not working for you, you have to try other ways in which you can meet people. Unfortunately, these other ways are not as efficient as you'd like. So they take a lot of time. It can happen over a couple of months. It can happen over a couple of years or, you know, maybe much longer than that. So you need to stay patient if you want to develop um, a relationship more organically. You also have your office of professional networks where, you know, you can build on top of these networks where uh, if you have a good relationship with a colleague and, you know, you're friends with them, you can ask them to introduce you to single people they know. Obviously, this is based on a relationship you have with this person. You can't just, you know, send out a group email to everybody in your office saying, hey, listen, I'm single. You know, somebody introduced me to this person. So uh, everything requires a bit of effort. Uh, So you need to have that patience and that interest to build your network. Now... You also have your family networks. Uh, Lots of people are doing Zoom calls with distant relatives and things like that. This is a great way to reconnect with long-lost family members, schoolmates, college mates, and so on. To to go back and check if there is somebody that you possibly connect with because of shared values or shared experiences from the past. And build on top of that to see if you could potentially find a partner. Now... All of this requires you to make efforts and consistent efforts. But at the same time, you cannot be uh, so focused on the result and 
at some point you've got to start enjoying the process of building your network and getting to know people if you get too obsessed with the results of finding a partner etc then this route of trying to find um, uh, an interesting person to build a relationship with organically may not work for you you're probably better off being on these matrimonial websites or you know signing up with uh, marriage brokers but if you honestly honestly believe that you uh, would enjoy uh, building a relationship organically then you must have the patience to explore some of these ideas that i give you i'll come back to you again um, in the coming weeks with more ideas and maybe some very country or city specific ideas as well until then happy spouse hunting see you next week